Right, it's uh, Friday the 6th of March, time for Physics Fun, and uh, we're looking at oscilloscopes and sound. So, similar to a previous video where we were looking at electrical um, oscillations, this time we're looking at mechanical oscillations. This is a trace that I've already got, and uh, this was my voice, just making a simple sound. We can see the waveform has a peak here, a peak here, and a peak here, so it's a regular pattern. Now let's see what that uh, looks like for real. So we're going to unfreeze the oscilloscope and I'm going to make a couple of sounds. Uh, oh, 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 oh. So again changing my voice and clearly you can hear that it sounds like a human voice there's a definite pattern here look at the, how it tails off and peaks right up it's definitely a regular pattern again we've got a frequency for that in fact that frequency was 106 Hertz because it actually works it out for us here on the screen <clears throat> let's see if we can look at some different frequencies now so we'll unfreeze uh... Well, 396 hertz. So let's see what happens now. Now, we've moved right up to 571 hertz there for that sound. And clearly, there are a lot more ups and downs in the same time because we didn't change the scale. We're on a Y scale of 20 millivolts and the time base is 2 milliseconds or 2 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds so 571 hertz does seem to give a regular frequency let's see what else we can look at goes slightly higher that's a louder sound isn't it we can clearly see the peak is higher and the trough is lower 661 hertz so let's have a look we'll see if we can go from high to low here we go interesting how the bass note clearly has a very different shape to if I talk really highly and like this so I can do a funny voice, or a normal voice, or a low voice, and each time I'm getting a very different trace from the microphone. And now I'm talking really close to the microphone, I've got my upper lip touching that microphone, and I'm again getting a very different trace. And there we go. It's still a regular pattern, but it's entirely different. That's why we're hearing a different voice. Now let's try some whistling. high frequency 1.8 kilohertz it's picking up there that's massive clearly a lot lower so we've had a really good look there at exploring sound let's just have one final trace to finish uh, uh. I think that's my personal favorite because we're really seeing a real clear distinguishing for the peak to peak or trough to trough. Really easy to measure the frequency of that wave. So something you could do for homework is to look back through the video and see if you can work out using the idea that my scale each time two milliseconds per division. So for example, if we move this wave around, so let's move this one to get it right where we can see it. So we'll move it that way. We could always uh, change our scale this way. So let's change our scale maybe out. Let's see if what we can get. No, we can't. Well, we can't do that. It's gone beyond the limit. So here, we could measure, look, one division, two divisions, three, four, five point six. So it's 5.6 squares times two milliseconds. 
So 5.6 squares times 2 milliseconds. If we added that up, I'm going to get my calculator. 5.6 times 2 e to the minus 3 will be 0 0.0112 seconds. I do the reciprocal, <coughs> the reciprocal or one over that. That was 89.28 hertz. See if you can do the same calculation. Thank you for watching. That was Friday Physics Fun.